Welcome to Dot Dot Weekly. I'm Kevin, we have some exciting updates for you today. Exciting news from Ocean Park? The Hong Kong Special Administrative Region Government announced the birth of panda twins early Thursday morning. These adorable cubs, a female and a male, are the offspring of Ying Ying and Lala, pandas gifted to Hong Kong by the central government back in 2007. After successfully mating in March, Ying Ying gave birth to the twins in the early hours of the day. Chief Executive John Lee expressed heartfelt gratitude to the central government for this wonderful gift, showcasing their support for Hong Kong. What a joyous occasion for our city! Speaking of pandas, there's more good news. A new pair of giant pandas is set to arrive in Hong Kong on September the 26th. Experts from Ocean Park have been in Sichuan to learn about their habits and ensure a smooth transition. Although these pandas are healthy, they'll need to undergo a quarantine period to adapt to their new home. It looks like they might make their public debut in December, but if they settle in quickly, we could see them sooner. Stay tuned for more updates on this exciting arrival. Switching gears to the culinary world, the Food Expo kicked off on Thursday at the Hong Kong Convention and Exhibition Center. Organized by the Hong Kong Trade Development Council, this five-day event features around 700 exhibitors from 26 countries. Attendees can enjoy new products, on-site tastings, and even participate in daily lucky draws for fantastic prizes. With so much to explore, it's a food lover's paradise. Don't miss out on the chance to indulge your taste buds. Now, let's talk about a story that's caught a lot of attention recently. The Mr. Ho and Mrs. Ho case has raised eyebrows as Mr. Ho was found living in his wife's public rental housing unit without registration. The housing authority has requested him to vacate the premises or they would issue an eviction notice. Mrs. Ho claims they are being persecuted and has moved to a hotel with Mr. Ho, who is now homeless. This situation highlights the importance of understanding tenancy agreements and the need for proper registration. It's a developing story, so we'll keep you updated. In other news, WeChat Pay Hong Kong is making commuting more affordable. From now until October the 29th, they're offering Hong Kong $8 worth of transport discounts for Hong Kong users traveling on the Shenzhen Underground and buses. Users can collect vouchers by scanning promotional posters at designated stations. This initiative aims to encourage more people to use public transport while enjoying some savings. It's a great way to make travel easier and more economical. Lastly, a concerning trend has emerged among Hong Kong's elderly population. A recent survey revealed that 26% of left-behind elderly those whose children have emigrated are experiencing moderate depression or worse. Many are feeling isolated and in need of support. Social welfare representatives are urging the government to pay more attention to these vulnerable individuals and provide necessary assistance. It's crucial that we look out for our seniors and ensure they receive the care they need. That wraps up our news highlights for today. Thanks for joining us, and stay tuned for more updates throughout the day.